Hey, this is Ashley. You guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and I'm going to be making some red velvet cakes. And guys, I started filming and it didn't record. So I've done a tiny bit already, but we haven't done much. So let's just go ahead and get into this. I got all this stuff over here because I'm going to be baking y'all. Look at, look at all that. And I'm going to be using this little because they're gonna be red velvet mini cakes and I'm have I'm gonna have fun doing it and I was gonna use a tree but I forgot to buy another cookie cutter so we're doing the stockings again but this time it's gonna be red velvet cake and we're gonna kind of have some fun with them and you'll see what I'm gonna do with them but yeah the very first thing that we've got is you need some buttermilk in my case I do not have buttermilk so what I've done is I've used half a cup of carnation evaporated milk, half a cup of regular milk, and a teaspoon of vinegar. And so that concoction over there has got to sit and wait for at least five minutes before I go ahead and use it, which it's going to have plenty of time. But since we're going to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and set the oven now. The oven needs to be set to a lovely 350 degrees. Being up, we're going to go ahead and start mixing everything together let's do this so this recipe calls for technically more than we're gonna do we're gonna chop it down to two-thirds because i'm not making three-tier cake we're making mini cakes it does however want me to butter those things down so let's do that. two buttered pans we're gonna use two cups of flour next up is some sugar i'm already mixing because i like to mix stuff as i add stuff in next up is cornstarch of which the original amount is half a cup. And since I'm doing two thirds, I need to do four tablespoons and four teaspoons. And I'm sure that amounts to something of a different size, but we're just gonna stick with that. We're doing the same exact amount of the cocoa. Four tablespoons, four teaspoons. So there's the mix once it's finally starting to get some color in there. Woo! Baking soda, baking powder, different. Okay, now that I've pointed that out, Need some of this and some of this. I need some salt up in it. Next part of the recipe called for some eggs. The original recipe needed four, but since I'm reducing it, I used three and I actually poured then a little bit out to try to make it that two thirds. Now it's time for me to go ahead and add this mixture along with the eggs into the mix. And then I have to add some more water. I need to add some vegetable oil as well. I need some van. I need to add some vanilla. I also need to add some vinegar. And this is looking all nice and smooth, which means it's time for me to go ahead and add a little bit of food coloring. The red mix here, but we also have a green mix here. And then here's the green, which I poured a little bit of the red on. And that's where they're gonna sit for the next 30 to 35 minutes. So I pulled one out and I flipped it over and I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. Um, a little bit came off from the bottom just a little bit um but yeah i'm gonna be going ahead and letting this cool and then we're gonna go ahead and start cutting this up into cute little pieces so that it can be all adorable mini cake stuff got the two cakes we have the red and the green and now it's time for me to cut them into the smaller pieces so that i can go ahead and make them all pretty and cute and this one's still got a cool because you can still i don't know if you can still see the smoke in front of me i don't know but this one the red one is still smoking the other one's been out for a little bit so it has a little bit of time to cool as for the cutouts here are the cutouts what i'm going to actually be doing is i cut out the shape and i will then for each individual one i will cut each of them in half and then ice under normal no, under normal circumstances i would make the cream cheese icing but in this case i just bought it because time so now I have a lovely cake that is ready to go. 